Welcome back to St. George's Memorial Church here in Oshawa. I'm the incumbent, Judy Herring Graham. I'm uh, here with uh, Reverend Ian Martin from St. Matthew's, Oshawa. Um, so, how did the um, container go? It went really well. Folks, you were so generous. Those of you who are part of the parishes of St. Matthew's and St. George's uh, know that we uh, have been collecting uh, food and clothes and toiletries for the island of St. Vincent, which has been decimated by the Soufriere volcano. So we collected bags and bags and bags, a room full of stuff. I don't know how many barrels As, as I took. came into the church today to, to do this recording, the stuff is billowing out the side of the church. It's mm -hmm. absolutely stunning. That being said, if you have anything else you'd like to offer, we'll find a way of getting it down there. I'm not sure. Oh, we'll find a way. But that's okay. We well, can talk okay. to me at that point. We'll sort it out. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Prepare to worship? Ready to worship. Let's continue and prepare to worship on page 98 of the Green Book of Alternative Services. Alleluia, Christ is risen. Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. Praise the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. He gave us new life and hope by raising Jesus from the dead. Rejoice then, even in your distress. We shall be counted worthy when Christ appears. God has claimed us for his own. He has called us from our darkness into the light of his day. Alleluia, the Lord is risen indeed. O come, let us worship. Alleluia, Christ, our Passover has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Not with the old leaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Alleluia. Christ, being raised from the dead, will never die again. Death has no longer dominion over him. The death he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. So consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Alleluia. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since by a man came death, by a man also has come the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, so also in Christ shall all be made alive. Alleluia. Almighty God, you have exalted your only Son, Jesus Christ, with great triumph to your kingdom in heaven. Mercifully give us faith to know that, as he promised, he abides with us on earth and to the end of time who is alive and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Acts. In the first book, Theophilus, I wrote about all that Jesus did and taught from the beginning until the day when he was taken up to heaven after giving instruction through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. After his suffering, he presented himself alive to them by many convincing proofs, appearing to them during 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While staying with them, he ordered them not to leave Jerusalem, but to wait there for the promise of the Father. This, he said, is what you have heard from me. For John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, is this the time when you will restore the kingdom of Israel? He replied, it is not for you to know the times or periods that the Father has sent by his own authority, but you will receive power from the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he said this, as they were watching, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him out of their sight. While he was going and they were gazing up toward heaven, suddenly two men in white robes stood by them. They said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking up toward heaven? This Jesus, who has been taken up for you, from you into heaven, will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks be, to Thanks be to God. Well, Ian, what do you do with that? I don't know. I wanted to duck it, but here we are. Yeah, here we are. I mean, 
This is one of those passages for which I have to suspend disbelief. Yeah. Um, you know, because what the story is telling us is so different from anything I've ever experienced or been taught in school. Um, I believe it's true in the sense that it is telling us some truths. But I wrestle because as a 21st century person, a product of the Enlightenment and rationality, this isn't rational. Right. On, yeah, uh, this makes no In the natural world, this makes no sense. Mm -hmm. um, people don't uh, levitate. We know clouds are wispy. They're not solid to lift people up. Um, we have eyewitnesses to this. I mean, it's, it's, it, 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 maybe someone's writing this to fill a hole somewhere and trying to dupe you or something. Like, I don't know. I, I, the rational part of me says, hold on a second, what's going on? Uh, suspend reality, just accept it and move on. I, I'm with you on that. And yet, when we look at things like the incarnation and we look mm -hmm. at, so that's, you know, Christmas, mm -hmm. and we look at um, Easter, we look at any miracle, this is integral to the beginning. Mm -hmm. We're talking about supernatural events. Mm -hmm. And it's trying to explain a supernatural event in the confines of the natural order will always leave you wanting. There, you can't yes. do it. Yeah. So what truth then is it trying to, what place does it hold in the story? Why, it is, why is it integral to the story? Well, and for whom is it good news? Because it is some other kind of truth. Well, I mean, if we just focus on Jesus for a minute, right? If we just really just kind of dig down, we've got... This is ha all the stuff is happening right after the events of Easter. So we had mm -hmm. Jesus, you know, he had the whole bad trial thing and went to death. And he had the mm -hmm. whole cross bit that was not so good. Well, it was good, but it wasn't good. It was a terrible, awful, no good, very bad day. Yes. Um, and en encroached in us and our brains, the letter mm -hmm. T. Um, we have Jesus living and dying mm -hmm. and then raising again. Mm -hmm. Well, now if you can't have Jesus walking around on the earth forever. Why can't you? Why couldn't he have just been raised from the dead and still be here? Because Jesus would still only be one man, one person. How is the gospel, God's purpose of the redemption of the world going to be fulfilled if it's stuck to one person and no one else is empowered to do that work? If the promise of the Holy Spirit is true and mm -hmm. is to come, and the gospel, the good news, is to spread to the ends of the world, it can't be simply confined to Jesus mm -hmm. and the person of Jesus Christ, of the person oh. of Nazareth. It needs to go into the populace. It needs to go into those who believe and follow. It needs to go into his disciples. You and I and everyone, mm -hmm. dare I say, watching on, t on camera. Mm -hmm. But you're still left with this problem of Jesus being alive. Mm -hmm. And the Holy Spirit, which is, we're going to get the Trinity at some point, right? In a couple of weeks, yeah. Right? So the, 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 the Holy Spirit is also fully God. It, it's, it can coexist, but it doesn't coexist in Jesus too, right? Like it's a weird sort of metaphysical thing. So we're left with this mm -hmm. strange space where in the life of the story, Jesus needs to depart, and we're actually told mm -hmm. that, don't touch mm -hmm. me, I haven't ascended yet, mm -hmm. right from the beginning. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and Jesus now is ascending and leaving in the promise of the Spirit, of the Holy Spirit coming to empower us to mm -hmm. do the work of mm -hmm. God. All of that makes sense in the life of who we are as Christians. In light of a mm -hmm. supernatural divine event. Okay happening so long ago and yet so imminently personal today. And we're going to see that explode next week again on Pentecost. Yeah. So not just the 12, but didn't 3,000 come to believe because of Peter and their, and their preaching. And then we have more, more appearances, mm -hmm. more appearances. Jesus kind of keeps popping up all over the place. And During Jesus, Easter Jesus season. Yeah. ascension is allowing those appearances to happen. So he's not stuck in the temple in Jerusalem and that's it. It's mm -hmm. way bigger than we all possibly could have wrapped our heads around. I think that's 
also in light for me. It's in tune with what the ascension is. It's such mm -hmm. a small event, and yet it's so huge. huge. Amen. Amen. never sure how we're going to get through that ascension stuff, but it seems to work out. It, it does. Let's continue on with our service. Mm -hmm. The Apostles' Creed can be found on page 52, 52. of the, Apostle, uh, the Affirmation of Faith with the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. And I believe, believe in, in Jesus Christ, Christ his, his only, only Son, our, our Lord. Lord. He, was he was conceived by, by the power of the Holy, of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. And, and born, born of, the of the Virgin Mary. Mary. He, he suffered, suffered under Pontius Pilate, Pilate was crucified, died, died and was buried. He descended, he descended to the dead. On the, On the third day, day he rose again. He ascended, ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will, he will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe, I believe in the Holy Spirit, Spirit the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, in the, life in the life everlasting. everlasting. Amen. The response to our intercessions for this morning will be, may we follow Christ to the new creation. To the new creation. That is, may we follow Christ to the, to new, the new creation. creation. Let us pray for the church. God, whose Christ was taken in glory, give us power in the Holy Spirit to be witnesses in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria, yes, even to the ends of the earth. We pray to you, Lord, may we, may we follow, follow Christ, Christ to the, to new, the new creation. creation. Let us pray for the asylum from trouble, the reign over nations, clothe us with power from on high, grant us a spirit of wisdom and insight. We pray to the Lord, May we, we follow, follow Christ, Christ to, to the, the new, new creation. creation. Let us pray for the infirm. May the laying on of hands and the anointing with oil promise recovery from the sick. To all peoples, clap your hands. Shout to God with cries of gladness. We pray to the Lord. 
May, May we follow, follow Christ, Christ to the, to the new, new creation. creation. Let us pray for energetic discipleship. Do not find us looking at the skies. See us making disciples of all nations. May the fullness of Christ fill the universe. We pray to the Lord. May we follow, follow Christ, Christ to, to the, the new, new creation. creation. Let us pray for the power of the Holy Spirit. May we who believe know the immeasurable scope of your power. Let Christ remain always among us until the end of the world. We pray to the Lord. May we, we follow, follow Christ, Christ to, to the, the new creation. creation. Let us remember the dead. Seat the beloved at your right hand in heaven, high above every principality, power, virtue, and domination. May they find their hope in the strength you showed in raising Jesus from the dead. We pray to the Lord. May, May we, we follow, follow Christ, Christ to the, to the new, new creation. creation. Almighty God, your Son, Jesus Christ, ascended to the throne of heaven that he might rule over all things as Lord. Grant our requests as may be best for us and in accordance with your holy will. We ask this in the name of the risen and ascended Lord. Amen. Amen. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray as our Savior taught us, saying, Our Father, Father in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be your, your name. name. Your, your kingdom, kingdom come. come. Your, your will, will be done on earth as in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us today our, our daily bread. bread. Forgive, Forgive us our sins as we forgive, forgive those who sin against us. us. Save, Save us from the time of trial and deliver us, us from evil. For, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now, now and, and forever. forever. Amen. Amen. The peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you and those whom you love and serve this day and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God.